For an observer, the deck of an LNG carrier may appear as a maze of pipelines. However, they have been laid out carefully by design to meet the demands of safe and quick cargo operation. If you understand the control centers, arterial pipelines and their function, you will be able to understand the cargo operation procedures easily. Cargo Auxiliaries Cargo equipment such as gas compressors, heaters, vaporizers and demester are located in the cargo auxiliaries room. They are controlled from a centralized cargo control room using the distributed control system. The driving motors for the compressors, vacuum pumps, etc. are located in the electric motors room. Loading manifolds or crossover lines. Liquid cargo is loaded and discharged via the crossover lines located amidships. Each crossover line has two loading or discharge connections. Thus, there are four loading or discharge connections on each side of the ship. These connections are fitted with ESDS manifold valves. Line relief valves, filters, etc. are also located here. Sprayer rings. LNG liquid is fed into the cargo tanks via cooling spray rings located inside the vapor domes. There are two sets of rings, the upper spray ring with large bore nozzles and lower spray ring with small bore nozzles. Cargo pumps. The cargo pumps are located in the cargo tanks. Each tank normally has two main cargo pumps, a stripping or spray pump and provision for fitting an auxiliary cargo pump in an emergency. Line valves. All major valves such as the ESDS manifold valves, manifold valves and individual tank loading and discharge valves are remotely power operated from the cargo console so that all normal cargo operations can be carried out from the centralized control room. When an ESDS is activated, the loading or unloading operation is stopped by shutting down all the manifold valves. ESDS Emergency Shutdown System Vapor Dome A vapor dome is located near the geometrical center of each cargo tank ceiling. It is provided with a vapor supply or return line prayer rings, pressure vacuum relief valves, pressure sensor pickups, and purge line from the cargo pump discharge column. All the vapor domes are interconnected by a vapor line or header running fore and aft along the deck. The cargo tanks can be vented through the dome using a connection to the tank mast razor. Removable bends. Removable bends are supplied for fitting where necessary to allow cross-connection between the various pipe work for infrequent uses such as preparing for dry dock and recommissioning after dry dock. Cargo Auxiliaries Cargo equipment such as gas compressors, heaters, vaporizers and demester are located in the cargo auxiliaries room. They are controlled from a centralized cargo control room using the distributed control system. The driving motors for the compressors Vacuum pumps, etc., are located in the electric motors room. Liquid dome. Each tank has a liquid dome located at the aft part of the tank near the ship's center line. It supports a stainless steel tripod mast whose legs are made by the main loading and discharging pipes. This mast supports the level and temperature sensors in the tank. All the liquid domes are interconnected by a liquid line or header running fore and aft along the deck. The loading and discharge valves are remotely operated by the DCS. The cargo tanks are connected with each other by the liquid, vapor and stripping or spray headers. The pipeline materials most used for cryogenic service are stainless steel and nickel alloys with 9% nickel content. Most of the cargo piping is welded to reduce the possibility of joint leakage. The pipelines are insulated to limit the boil off. Here we will be having a look at the pipelines based on what they carry. Liquid header and loading line. LNG is carried to and from each cargo tank via the main liquid line which runs fore and aft along the deck. During discharging, the main cargo pumps discharge LNG via the liquid header to the shore. LNG is loaded via the loading manifolds to the liquid header and then to each tank via the loading valve and loading line. The loading line is also used during drying, inerting, warming for entry of the incoming gas into the cargo tanks, 
during purging and aerating, the exhaust is sent out of the tank through the loading line. Vapor header. LNG vapor is carried to and from each cargo tank via the main vapor line which runs fore and aft along the deck. The vapor main is connected to the vapor dome of each tank. It has branches to and from the cargo auxiliaries room with connections to the compressors, heaters and vaporizers. The vapor main is very critical to maintain the tank pressures. When loading, the vapor main and crossover together with the high duty compressors are used to return the displaced gas from the tanks to shore. When discharging, the vapor main is used with either the vapor crossover or a vaporizer to supply vapor to the tanks to replace the outgoing cargo. Warm vapor header. This vapor line running fore and aft along the trunk deck is used for handling normal boil off gas from the cargo tanks and forced boil off from the fuel gas heaters. It is used primarily to deliver warm LNG vapor to the engine room for gas burning. In an emergency, it can be used for controlled venting through number one tank mast riser by using a removable bend. Stripping or spray header. The stripping or spray line can be connected to the liquid crossover lines and can be used to drain or to cool down each cargo tank and also to spray during discharging if the return vapor is insufficient. The stripping or spray main is connected to the vapor dome of each tank. It has branches to and from the cargo auxiliaries room with connections to the compressors, heaters and vaporizers. Inert gas lines. Inert gas or dry air from the IG plant is led to the liquid manifold by using removable bends. The gas is then let into the cargo tanks through the loading line. The piping is connected to the main cargo system through a double non-return valve to avoid gas returning to the engine room. Line safety valves. All sections of liquid piping that can be isolated and thus possibly trap liquid between closed valves are provided with safety valves which relieve excess pressure to the nearest vapor dome. However, this is only a safety measure and standard practice is to allow any remaining liquid to warm up and boil off before closing such valves. Leakage and static electricity. Flanged connections are electrically bonded by means of straps provided between flanges. These straps ensure the difference in potential due to static electricity between cargo and other deck piping, tanks, valves and other equipment are avoided. Whenever a section of pipe or piece of equipment is removed, the flange bonding straps must be replaced after maintenance. Protection against thermal shock. Before commencing any operation involving the liquid cargo, the pipelines, cargo tanks and equipment must be cooled down. This is to avoid thermal shock and to reduce the amount of boil off generated during the operation. Both liquid and vapor lines have expansion loops and bellows to absorb the thermal expansion and reduce thermal stresses on the piping. Fixed and sliding pipe supports and guides are provided to ensure that pipe stresses are kept within acceptable limits.